Welcome back everybody. This is Nicole from Wildflower Valley Farm. I apologize to begin with for all of the noise in the background. Unfortunately, there's just not a lot I can do about it today. And today is the best time that I have this week for filming this video. I do live in town, in the town that we live in. So the neighbors are always going to be doing something um, to, make, to make noise. And you know, we do live on just one tenth of an acre. So it's hard for me to get far enough away from things like my heat pump um, to keep there from being a lot of background noise. I will try to talk loud enough that you can hear me over the noise. Um, so just bear with me and I will do the best that I can. Today's video is going to be an episode of plants that I rescued from Walmart. Um, I don't know about you guys, but anytime I go to Walmart or the grocery store or even Lowe's or Home Depot or any place like that that sells live plants, I like to look through their clearance plants because you can find things a lot of times that um, number one may be just fine. Maybe, maybe the container they were in was damaged, for example, if it was a decorative pot and the pot got broken. Or maybe they're a little bit sad because the store didn't water them as well as they should have or didn't keep them in the right conditions and the plant needs a little bit of TLC but would be just fine. And a lot of times you can find um, some really great plants that are marked down for really bargain prices and it's definitely worth bringing them home to see what you can do. So let me show you guys what I picked up at the store today. my selection of plants that I rescued from Walmart today um, and actually a couple of these plants there's totally nothing well more than a couple there's totally nothing wrong with these plants um, this one actually I did pay regular price for and then I accidentally broke it you can see that broken piece right there I accidentally broke it getting it home but it will be just fine um, I've been wanting some more aloe I have some baby aloe plants in the house that really aren't doing very well so I wanted a new plant um, to kind of start over with that one of everything that I brought home today this one is probably the sickest looking I really think that it can be rescued it does look very sad I actually think they've overwatered it I think is its problem um, because the soil is very wet but the roots are not rotten and I'm gonna give it a shot and see if I can rescue it this I also paid regular price for. Um, I didn't plant any yellow squash this year because I ran out of space, but one of my zucchini plants in the main garden has unfortunately succumbed to the squash vine borers. And so I'm going to replace it with this yellow squash that I picked up at Walmart. It does look kind of sad. Um, some of the, the, the leaves are broken, but it still is a healthy plant and I think it will do just fine once I get it once I get it replanted into the garden. This plant here, I honestly have no idea why it was marked down. Not a clue. The um, other plants similar to this, the regular price was I think about $14. I think, I honestly can't remember, but I think they were around $14 because they're in these decorative pots. And there's nothing wrong with this. There's not a chip in the pot, nothing. No idea. And they, um, I guess they were closer to $10, it looks like, according to that sticker. And like I said, you can see it was marked down to $4.49 and there is absolutely nothing wrong with this. And then finally, this one here is a plant that should have been in a pot like this. And it looks like this pot has gotten broken, probably, because this is the way that um, it was potted at the store and you can see it was marked down to 225 and again there is nothing wrong with the plant itself 
So I'm just going to get this out of the nursery pot and into something a little more decorative and there you go. So tell me down in the comments below if you have ever gone plant rescuing at one of your local stores and what kinds of goodies have you come home with. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe down below so that you don't miss any of my upcoming videos.